the area bounded by region inside the circle x square plus y square equals to 36 and outside the parabola y square equals to 9x is equal to. So let's try to draw the circle and the parabola and see what are the intersecting points. Then we will see how to use integration to solve the this problem and find out the area bounded by the region inside the circle outside the parabola. First let me just go ahead and try to get a circle here. Now that's a circle we have. Let us say we have these are the coordinate axis we have 0 comma 0 here. This is center of the circle doesn't look like but let us say for some time. Now this point will be 6 comma 0. This point will be minus 6 comma 0. We may not use it but the radius is 6. Now what about parabola y square equals to 9x? x power 1. So wherever unit power is there that's along that axis the figure will be symmetric. So the parabola will be symmetric along x axis. <coughs> so it will be like this. Now what is that area we need to find out? Area bounded by the region inside the circle outside the parabola. So we want this particular area. So let us share that area. That is the area we need to find out. Now if you observe that area, we can divide that into three parts. What area we need to find out? One, we have a semicircle. So after that we have two symmetric areas. Now semicircle plus two times of one will give us our required area what we need to find out. So what is our area we need to find out is like this. This is the area what we are interested in. Now we are dividing that into semicircle plus two times of area of one. So let me write down that. This area whatever we want is area of semicircle. 2 times of area 1 and what is area 1? Let us see. It is, if I try to use vertical strips, we know this is 0, 0. We have to find out this x coordinate of the intersecting point. Then we can say integration for this to find out the area is circle minus parabola. So let us try to find out what are these points. So we have x square plus y square is 36 and we have y square equals to 9x. So can we say x square plus 9x is 36 or x square plus 9x minus 36 equals to 0. That will give us x plus 12 into x minus 3 equals to 0 which will give us x equals to 3 or x equals to minus 12. The second one is ruled out because we have y square equals to negative value here which will not work out. So x equals to 3, x cannot be equals to minus 12. If x equals to 3, then what will be y value? For that we can use y square equals to 9x y square equals to 9 into 3, 27. That is y equals to plus or minus 3 root 3. So this point is 3 comma 3 root 3. We are interested only in the x coordinate. So we'll write down area required is area of semicircle that is half into pi into radius square that is 6 square plus 
now this area we want to find out that area is coming from x equals to 0 to 3 because we found out that x coordinate there where intersecting is 3 x 0 to 3 y dx what is our y now first it is circle x square plus y square is 36 or y equals to square root of 6 square minus x square 36 minus x square I will write down that that minus y square equals to 9x that means y equals to 3 root x so minus 3 root x dx let us separate them we will have half into 36 18 pi plus 0 to 3 root of 6 square minus x square minus 0 to 3 3 root x dx and this value we need to multiply with the 2 because we have 2 times of 1 so this will have 2 and this will have 2 in the next step we can write down 18 pi plus what is the integration of a square minus square root of a square minus x square that is equals to x by 2 square root of a square minus x square plus a square by 2 sine inverse of x by a and for that our boundaries are 3 to 0 minus 2 into 3 into what is the integration of root x root x is 2 by 3 x power 3 by 2 and boundaries are 0 to 3 in the next step we will write down 18 pi plus 2 into x is 3 substituting boundaries we have 3 by 2 square root of 6 square minus 3 square plus 6 square by 2 that is 18 sin inverse 3 by 6 minus 3 and 3 will cancel 4 into 3 power 3 by 2 or 3 root 3 when we go to the next step we will have 18 pi plus 2 into 3 by 2 2 2 will cancel 3 into square root of 6 square minus 3 square that is root 27 which can be written as 3 root 3 plus 18 into sine inverse 1 by 2 that is sine inverse 1 by 2 is pi by 6 2 into 18 into pi by 6 minus 4 into 3 root 3 the last step will have 18 pi plus 6 pi that is 24 pi then we have 3 into 3 root 3 4 into 3 root 3 so it will be minus 3 root 3 so the answer is 24 pi minus 3 root 3